Hi, I'm Larissa from Beekeeping Made Simple. And I'm Nate. My husband. And we are here to talk about the high C rubber boots. They emailed me and asked me if they could send me a free pair of boots in exchange for making a video with our opinion on them. And I said no, because I don't wear boots when I'm keeping bees. But we changed our mind. So they gave me the mid-calf rubber garden boots. These are $57.99 on their website. And Nate, you have the men's 8-inch ankle high garden boots. We took these hiking with the kids up in the cloud forest in Coloco. It was kind of muddy. It was a wet day, <laughs> for sure. I haven't tested them in the snow, obviously. We're here in Hawaii. I took our two-year-old for a walk. It was raining and I was pretty cold and she was splashing me with the puddles and my feet were dry and I was cold but my feet were not cold. Um, and I've been doing yard work in them in the heat and it's been sunny and in the 80s and my feet aren't hot or sweating. I've worn them a few times. Um, yeah, honestly, they're, they're pretty good boots. They're super comfy. The sole has got an arch or something to it that it's just got that extra support that you want in a boot. I wear a lot of boots because I'm an electrician. And um, I go through boots a lot, actually. And I can see these being a really good, like, winter boot, especially, like, even if you're just shoveling snow or, you know, trekking around outside for whatever reason. Um, they're super dry and comfy and really warm, that's for sure. A little too warm for Hawaii, but. Yeah, I haven't found that my feet get hot or sweaty in them. That brings me on to something they specifically said they would like us to mention, which is that there is a 100-year lifetime warranty, but it doesn't include wear and tear. Uh, if you want to purchase one of these boots, you go to their website and use coupon code BMS15, this is short for beekeeping made simple, and you'll get 15% off. And yes, I do get a 10% commission if you buy these boots using that coupon code. Uh, they use Flex Foam Neoprene, for to make it 100% waterproof, which I have found that these boots are very waterproof. Definitely. They also makes it flexible and shock has shock absorption and heat retention. You can also buy them on Amazon and they have a two millimeter mesh lining and wicking to help your feet stay dry when they're sweating a lot. And they're super grippy. Mm. They do um, have a pretty good grip on them when we were hiking in the muddy areas. I wasn't slipping or anything. Yeah, I've used them in the rain and they're, you know, ideal for rain boots. The only problem I have with these boots, which is a big problem, <laughs> but my fault, is that they are too big for me. I am usually a size 7, but occasionally a size 6.5 women's US, and I got to 7. They told me to look at the size guide, and I didn't. I was like, they're boots, I'm going to wear socks with them, so I would get a 7. And looking at the size guide, the 6s would have fit me better that being said i'm wearing these with socks but i'm not wearing them with heavy fuzzy like winter socks so when i did wear my heaviest sock that i own <laughs> that our Which socks i brought heavy. with me from pennsylvania and i no i bought them to go on our new zealand trip oh. and um haven't worn them since that was like seven years ago uh, i tried them with those socks and that uh, they actually fit pretty well with those socks on but wearing yeah, thinner a, cotton socks I way bought a big. size 10 and I'm generally a nine and a half 10 and they're a little big on my feet as well so I guess what we're getting at is go smaller because they don't do half sizes just they don't do half sizes but look at the sizing guide they have like the inches on oh. them but look at the sizing guide don't go by what we're saying they have a hundred percent keep dry and warm motto and a hundred year lifetime warranty. I don't know if that means the last a hundred years or until you die. Is that what that means? Hundred year lifetime warranty? Yeah. Whichever it comes first. It just basically means if they come if apart you live to be you, 120 yeah. years old, sorry. No. If they come Stop apart on you in your lifetime, that's not a wear and tear. Sounds like they'll cover it. <laughs> How does a manufacturer's defect happen like 50 years into owning something? <laughs> They're really confident in the glue, I guess. <laughs> that sounds like wear and tear to me actually so thanks for watching if you have a pair of these boots and you like them or more importantly if you have a pair from this company and you don't like them leave them down in the comments because that is even more helpful than watching 
these videos because we've only been using these for the last month, month and a half, actually. And if you'd like to see Nate appear in more videos, also leave that in the comments. And also some names of babysitters. Bye. Babysitter, babysitter, babysitter. <laughs> That's all you can think about. <laughs> Who's gonna watch my children for me? I'm tired of it. I made them somebody else take care of me.